Well, we're over here at the uh, Behringer booth, and uh, you guys are probably familiar with the X32. It made a big splash last year uh, with a lot of processing power, a lot of channel count, and a fairly small and inexpensive package. And the other day, Behringer introduced four new variants of the X32 line. And uh, we're here. I didn't actually get your name. Who are we here with? Yep, my name is Evan Hooten. I am actually the new House of Worship Support Specialist for Behringer, covering the U.S. So right now, we're going to walk you through those new consoles that we just released the other day as new members of our X family. Awesome. So this one uh, we're standing in front of is the uh, X32 Compact. So basically an X32, just smaller. Exactly. A lot of people, you know, think most manufacturers, when they release a board of smaller size, they think, oh, hey, it's a smaller board, so that means I have less channels. Well, the only thing we did was gave less faders on your surface, but we still give you all of the same control on the X32. So as you see right here, as we're looking at it, again, we have a total of 16 faders on the top, but we still give you the levels. We've got our 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, 25 through 32, again, your aux in. So you wonder, how can I still have control over all of those? Well, with this particular chassis right here, what we've done is we've given you a 16 by 8. So I mean 16 XLR in, 8 XLR out, kind of like our S16s. So then how do you get control of your additional, your 17 through 32? We've still left the AAS50 port on these consoles. So that's how you get the access to those additional channels, is you still connect it through our AAS50, which is our Clark Technic protocol, the same protocol that's used in the Midas consoles to talk to their stage boxes. You just hook that up to this board and away you go. So again, with those S16s, you can hook three of them together to get control over your 40 channels, which give you those eight aux ins, which are the six balanced TRSs plus that pair of RCAs. And so, yeah, really the only thing with this compact is we just kind of changed the service around, but everything is the same. The inside circuitry, the software that you see as your interface, it still has the XUF card, which is our USB 2.0 and our Firewire. Uh, you got the network control point to hook it up to a wireless router to control with the X control for the Mac or PC. That is the great thing. We also released our Mac version of the X control. We also have our XI control for the iPad and our IQ control for your iPhone now. So we're really doing what we can to step it up in the game because it's game over. We are so excited about these new products. Awesome, and so not only is there a compact version, I don't know if we're going to be able to get over there and look at it, but you have three other versions as well um, that are also a different uh, functionality and price points. Absolutely. So again, the price point of this, uh, the compact right you see the map is $24.99. Basically, they're at $500 increments. So we got the compact. As we go to the producer, again, the producer, it's a smaller footprint. The only thing different about it is you can actually now rack mount it. The dimensions make such you can rack it. So we go down in about $500 price points, uh, give or take roughly through it. Again, same functionality. You can extend. That's also a 16 by 8. So again, 16 XLR in, 8 XLR are out, again to extend it, go to the AS50, and all the same network controls, uh, the same ultranet also, you know, to go to our um, to our personal monitoring system. The other one we have, which you can kind of see it, is the X32 rack. So, you know, I said the producer can rack mount, but however, the rack is literally like a rack install unit, more or less. It's a three RUs, or three rack space unit, where you still have your seven inch TFT screen on it. Uh, but it just gives you knob control. That is still a 16 by 8 configuration, which we could actually kind of, at the end of this, we'll rotate it so you can take a look. Um, but that's it. That's all we did with our new X consoles. We kept the same core architecture and software, just put it in different forms, so either for the live or the install aspect. So that's the compact. The producer is the rack mount version live console. Our rack is more for install. Then we have what we call the core, the X32 core. That name is basically exactly what we say is, it is the core architecture of the X console. It's the exact same software. So there's a few knobs on the front of it, but how you control it is, again, either the X control for the computer, the uh, XI control for the iPad, or our new iPhone control. Again, the exact same console familiarity of it. It's just now really the only way to give your inputs on the core is to use the S16 stage snake through the AS50.
Right. So you've got a lot of choices now with the X32 line. It's not even a year old, or just about a year old. Wow. And uh, you've got all kinds of different options now for same channel count, same mix count, same bus count, just in different form factors and different price points depending on what you want to do. So you definitely want to visit Behringer's website, Behringer.com, to take a look at those things and uh, learn more about it. Some pretty good looking stuff and some really solid consoles from Behringer.